So year fives and sixes, this is what the year threes and fours have been working at over the last few weeks. We've collected some soil samples and you may remember we did this last year and the soil samples have been allowed to settle for a little while. Now you can do this activity too if you want to, just get some soil from your backyard, put in a bottle and put some water in it, give it a good shake and let it settle for a couple of weeks. What we've really noticed though is these lovely layers that have formed where the different density materials have sunk or gone to the middle or even some to the very top. And that is how some rocks start to form too. This is called sediment because sediment gets washed down from mountains and hills and ends up going into the water and then settling down. So underneath lakes and the sea, layers like this start to form. And I'd like to show you an example of what I believe to be a sedimentary rock. Just span out a little bit. Piece of cake, anyone? This is what I believe to be a sedimentary rock. Now I'll put it right in front of the sediment we've got going there because you can see that both of those are formed up by layers, horizontal layers in the rock. Sometimes they even flake off, uh, but every rock tells a story of its origin. And the origin of this rock, I believe, sometimes hard to know for sure, is a sedimentary rock, that it was settled like this, maybe under a waterway, and then all the water underneath pressed down on it, the pressure pushed down on it, and it creates a sedimentary rock. Now there's other types of rocks, of course, and they're all named after where they come from. Use our orange example again. If this was the earth cut through the middle, it would have its core in the center, have a big mantle through the middle of hot magma type rock. It's got a crust all the way around that's probably a bit bigger than it really is in proportion. And on the very top crust here, that's where just about all sedimentary rocks are made. Rocks can also be made inside the crust and those are called metamorphic rocks where there are usually other rocks under pressure pushing together and form another type of rock as well. The rocks that are made in here, when they come up out through a volcano, the magma or the lava comes up and forms, it might have been thousands, might have been hundreds, might have been millions of years ago. The lava cools and crystallizes on the skin or on the crust of the earth. Then that's another type of rock, the third type called igneous.